everybody, it's Dean, and I wanted to say, first of all, thanks for joining my site and asking for more information. I'm out here in the Smokies today with my wife, and, and we're on a, it's about a four-mile round-trip hike, and we're just up the, the, uh, the trailhead here, about a quarter mile up the way, there's a, there's a nice, pretty waterfall, but this is not a regularly traveled trail. And a couple of weeks ago at church, our pastor talked about if you want what normal people have, you do what normal people do. If you want something better, be weird, okay? It's kind of weird that we're out here. This is not a trail that most people, when you go to uh, the visitor center, it's not one that they tell you about a whole lot, but it's been beautiful. Uh, we're on a, a real pretty stream here, and we've just enjoyed it. It's a moderate hike. It's not too tough, but that's what we enjoy doing. We're out here, and I want something better out of my life, and I hope that you, that you want the same. And that's who I like to work with. Being weird, uh, you know, some people could call my occupation. I'm in the network marketing industry. Maybe it's a little bit weird to some people, but I get to work with people that I, I like. You know, I don't have to take orders from anybody. I'm free in, in a couple of different ways. Uh, you know, I'm not exactly where I want to be financially, but I'm doing okay. But my time freedom is the one thing I enjoy the most. I actually. Uh, somebody asked me the other day, you know, about a great opportunity, had lots of money involved, but it, it called for a lot of travel, a lot of things that I didn't enjoy doing. And I told the guy that I actually own my life. I own my time. Uh, I get to spend time with people that I love. And, you know, that's my passion is to take little hikes like this, to be out in nature and just, you know, take inventory of where I am today, you know. Uh, I do a lot of things consistently that some people don't do, but maybe that's weird. <laughs> I don't know. But wherever you are in your life, I encourage you to take inventory of where you are right now. If it's getting out here in the mountains, uh, getting next to nature, it makes me feel more grounded. And if you're the same way, get somewhere where there's no cell phone, there's no computer. And I read a book not too long ago, I'll share this with you, called 365 Thank Yous. It was about an attorney that was... That was uh, flat broke. He was about to lose his whole practice, and he took a uh, he took a walk out in California, out in the woods. There was nobody there, and a, a voice talked to him, and uh, you know he he said to the voice said to show gratitude. So the guy for the next year wrote a note every day to say thank you to people for no reason other than to say that they impacted his life, and he wrote some handwritten notes. The rest of the story went on to change his career. And again, I don't know where you are, but uh, our past dictates our future in some respect. If you've made some bad decisions in the past, that's okay. Uh, you know, you didn't, you didn't get to where you are overnight and you're not gonna get to where you wanna go overnight either. So I encourage you to take baby steps. Uh, if you've made good decisions, more power to you. But, it, you know, there's always room for improvement. No matter where we are, my life is good, but I want it to be better. It's not about working 70 hours a week, and I can work a, a part-time network marketing job, and, and if it makes me a few thousand extra a month, instead of watching TV, uh, or doing things that, that aren't income producing, or just a waste of time, to be honest, uh, that's what I choose to do. But I hope this finds you well, and if you need me for anything or have any questions, let me know. And I look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.